it all began with a simple question. What's your vision of a digital future for all? We've just heard some powerful voices, all part of our campaign leading up to this moment. Now it's time for Akeem and I to share our vision. For me, it really comes down to three words. Universal, meaningful connectivity. It's a driving force of the ITU as the UN Agency for Digital Technologies, and it's my number one priority. I want to be able to take my future grandchildren one day to the halls of the United Nations, and I want to be able to tell them the story of how we unlocked the power of digital and emerging technologies to everyone in this decade. No matter who they are, where they live, regardless of their gender, their age, their education, or the opportunities they've been given. We live in a world in which the familiar is giving way to the unknown. We cannot predict where our new digital future will take us. We can hope for it. What we can do is help create an inclusive, sustainable, and prosperous digital future. That means setting the conditions so that everyone everywhere can reap the benefits of our digital world, ensuring that everyone has the necessary skills, the capacities, and access so that no one is left behind. We must also harness digital technologies to protect and restore the environment and advance the decisive climate action we need so urgently to transform lives and livelihoods and drive progress across all, yes, all 17 Sustainable Development Goals. At UNDP, this is more than a vision. We are using digital to change lives today and ensure that the generations to come have the ability to determine their own futures. This future that Akim and I have described is within reach. Fast forward to September 25th, 2030, the SDG deadline. It's our moment of truth. Formidable challenges that once seemed insurmountable have given away to a future filled with promises. Countries and companies have doubled down on cybersecurity. Putting security first, they've saved countless lives and protected the global economy from escalating threats. We bridged the global digital gender gap with major breakthroughs in least developed countries where women's online participation has surged. Digital technologies have become a powerful ally in tackling climate change and in keeping the 1.5 degree target alive. Countries have worked together to clean up millions of pieces of debris in the low Earth orbit, making space sustainability a reality. Our efforts to develop standards against deep fakes have stopped the spread of disinformation and rebuilt the public's trust in technology. And today, developing countries are competing on equal footing in AI with the infrastructure and the talent to drive innovation that benefits us all. The year 2030, imagine a deadline that seemed so distant, yet our global community has achieved so much. A global community united by a clear blueprint for a better future. The Sustainable Development Goals. No one lives in extreme poverty any longer. We live in a world free from hunger. Nearly every child has a primary education. Everyone has access to clean water and sanitation. Renewable energy powers four-fifths of the world. And nearly every car sold worldwide is an electric vehicle, where digital technologies are powering decisive climate action and the protection and restoration of our natural world. Truly monumental achievements. How did we get there? Investments in digital were pivotal, ones that went beyond the next app or one-off digital solution. We need to invest in a digital ecosystem from which true innovation takes root and can flourish, where our global community actively shaped the AI revolution to improve lives. And now, as we stand at the threshold of a new era, we see a world where progress is not just a possibility. 
It is the reality we've built together. It is the age of possibility we are looking at. When Akim and I stood here for our first SDG Digital, we dared to think digital solutions could accelerate progress on 70% of the SDG targets. Now, in 2030, that vision has exceeded our expectations. Thanks to technologies like satellites, artificial intelligence, every school in the world is connected to the internet. When the GIGA initiative helped connect Brianna's school in Honduras, her first thought was for the unconnected children. As she put it, all children have the same rights. That's true for countries, and that includes two-thirds of the small island developing states that lacked early warning systems. But the early warnings for all initiative changed that, uniting us through emerging technologies to ensure everyone is protected. These technologies marked a turning point in our efforts to rescue the SDGs and leave no one behind. I always remember Luis, a young ALS patient who joined us for our AI for Good Global Summit from his home in Lisbon. Luis had lost his ability to speak, but an AI device connected to his brain gave him back his voice. As Doreen has so eloquently articulated, we see a world transformed in ways we couldn't have fully imagined even a few years ago. We've arrived at a point where digital transformation is not just about technology, it's about lives, our lives, our children's lives. Consider digital public infrastructure. Every person now has a secure digital identity. Imagine, we're imagining the year 2030. This has unlocked services that were previously out of reach of so many. When the Digital ID initiative reached a young mother, it didn't just give her access to education and healthcare. For the first time, I feel seen, she said. Closing the digital skills gap has ushered in a new era of entrepreneurship that includes a young graduate of 23 years of age. Thanks to a new digital bank account, he has now set up his own green transport business and employs seven people. Or look to technologies being harnessed to deliver for the planet. Governments and civil society are now using AI to track deforestation in real time, showing where to take action, combating forest fires. I'll never forget a farmer that I met who used AI to help predict changing climate patterns and double her crop yield. Today, in 2030, we have a truly global AI ecosystem, and many of the world's most impactful AI innovations come from regions like Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, and Asia, to just mention a few examples. This is the moment when we said no to digital inequalities and yes to digital opportunities, when ITU and UNDP showed true partnership. As the world unites behind the vision laid out in the Pact for the Future, the Declaration on Future Generations, and the Global Digital Compact. It's a new beginning. It's the start of a journey towards greater unity, peace, and innovation, a future where digital technology serves as a force for good and for inclusion and for sustainable development, a future worth living for. This is a moment to redefine our digital destiny. We must turn skepticism into an appetite for the unknown, a catalyst for change, and a willingness to push new frontiers. The ITU and UNDP are working together to put this commitment into practice across the globe as part of the UN's promise. That includes driving progress on digital public infrastructure, capacity building, and financing the means to an end. And this is not just an idle digital dream. We are bringing this vision to life like fiber optic cables lighting up with new streams of data, understanding and growth, powering a year of transformative breakthroughs for the SDGs. It all began with this simple question. What is your vision of a digital future for all? 
Today you will see how we can make this future a reality. To rescue the SDGs. To build right now at the Summit of the Future Action Days an affordable, universal, meaningful and inclusive, sustainable and peaceful, and prosperous digital, digital future, future for all. all.